The pickup truck is arguably the most popular vehicle in America, whether by acclamation, sales, or its rich history. It enjoys a strong nationwide popularity across all household value levels. And despite this dominance on the road, this is a particular category of rare pickup truck models, including exotic super trucks and classic muscle trucks that have been around for more than 20 years, which are bound to turn heads. But which trucks are we talking about and what makes them so rare? Well, here's a list of the 20 rarest American pickup trucks in existence. On number 20, we have the Dodge The Dude. The Dude was presented long before the adult toys and their colorful lineup of custom edition vehicles. The Dude Sport Trim Package, which was its official name, appeared right at the end of the Dodge D-Series second generation. Available with the 383 CI V8, The Dude was essentially the predecessor of performance-oriented pickups. What makes these trucks rare is that you could have recognized it by its all-over C-stripe and either black or white, unique badging on the rear end of the box, and dog dish hubcaps with trim rings. There were also the dude adorning Fargo trucks marketed as Dodge clones in Canada. To increase how rare and unattainable they were, the dude were sold by Chrysler Plymouth dealers only, while Canadian Dodge DeSoto dealers sold Dodges like it was the case in the US. Here's the fun fact for you. Only 1,500 and 2,000 dudes were produced, and there are many of them left today. Well, that's more than enough reason to make it to our list. Up next in number 19 is the GMC Sierra Classic Gentleman Jim at 17,395 and the GMC Sierra Classic Bo James at 35,000. Year 1975. These two packages for the GMC CK pickup truck were offered at the same time, and they both targeted the upmarket customers. The reason that these trucks were rare was because it was one of the first attempts by GM to create a luxury pickup truck. Gentleman Jim came in a black and gold paint scheme, which was complemented by air conditioning, AM FM stereo with 8-track player, tailored tonneau cover, CI BIE headlights, and wood grain interior trim. Bo James, on the other hand, came in silver and blue and had velour seats, unique floor mats, hood ornament and decals, and wire look hubcaps among other things. It was exclusively offered with a 350CI 4BBL V8 and a 454CI 4BBL V8, which clearly demonstrated Bo James was more than simply a good looking truck. And that's the reason we think this couple trucks deserve a spot on our list. Moving on number 18 is the Ford F-150 Knight at $24,707 to $93,832, bucks. years 1991-1992. The Knight package was only available in 91 and 92, but it wasn't entirely limited to Ford's half-ton pickup truck. If you had ordered a brand new Bronco, you could have had it with the package as well. However, it was limited to the XLT Lariat trim of the F-150. Moreover, in 91, only regular cab worked, while in 92, Knight migrated to all other configurations. Although both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive were compatible with the package, only the 302CI 5-liter V8 and the 351CI 5.8-liter V8 came into consideration on the powertrain part. That is to say, Knight was an appearance package for the most part. It did have a sport suspension, though. Other than that, you could have distinguished it by the raven black paint job, forged aluminum wheels, white letter tires, and special body side multicolor tape stripes. Interiors, on the other hand, were offered in dark charcoal, scarlet red, or crystal blue. Now that looks stunning. But let's hop on to truck number 17 on the list, which is the GMC Sierra California Sundancer, year 1987. The California Sundancer, as its name suggests, was a regional special available only in Southern California. That's probably the main reason it has fallen into obscurity. This special edition pickup truck was designed for the Southern California sport truck market, but that didn't hinder it from having the roll bar. Not really a sports truck thing, more 4x4, but then again it was 1987. Other than that, all were painted bright yellow and had two-tone blue pinstripes and gunmetal gray lower treatment. The GMC Sierra California Sundancer also had Smitty-built tubular steel bumpers, a sunroof, Bilstein gas pressure shock absorbers, and BF Goodrich radials on 15x7 Mag Sprinter Western wheels. Good luck finding one intact today, though. Now it's time to move on to truck number 16 on the list. Any guesses on which one we're talking about? Yeah, 
It's none other than the Chevrolet K10 Snow Chaser at $35,200, year 1984. This K10 Chevrolet is more or less the opposite of the California Sundancer. It was offered in northern states and other wintry areas, and its production numbers seem to be among the lowest of all special editions. It would appear that they were all painted red with golden stripes and black lower treatment. What they certainly had was the cab spoiler mounted on the bed behind the cab and the snow chaser decal on the rear bedsides. One of the unique things about each snow chaser is the special covering that extends up behind the truck's cab. Two bright lights stick out over the cab, though it's not clear how helpful they are during those long winter storms at night. These trucks were made to face the snowy problems of the Midwest and other cold regions. One of the few rare examples we managed to find is fitted with the 350CI V8 in Scottsdale trim, but that doesn't have to mean all of them were limited to this setup. The truck is incredibly uncommon, but if you happen to see it, you'd immediately know what it is. Up next on number 15 is the Dodge D100 Spirit of 76 at $16,356, year 1976. Celebrating America's bicentennial with a special edition trim package is something all manufacturers did 40 years ago. Dodge offered one such package with the Dart and D100 pickup truck. The Spirit of 76 consisted of numerous red and blue decals and stripes all over the truck's white body. It was one of those trucks that were only produced for a limited time as a special edition truck in the mid-1980s. Despite its short production run, it gained a cold following among truck enthusiasts for its unique styling and features. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the package on the Dodge D100 was only offered on the cheapest available trucks, which means they all came with the slant six engines? But at least the interior was a little bit more premium, with colorful cloth and vinyl or all vinyl bench seats that followed the exterior theme. Finally, the finishing touches were courtesy of special bright wheel covers. If you've been enjoying the video up till now, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Now, let's take a look at truck number 14, which is the Ford F-150 freewheeling, running you $49,995, year 1978. The freewheeling edition wasn't only limited to F-150, which makes it a little bit less scarce overall. Whether style side or flare side, they all came with some colorful striping. The former got a blackout scheme with rainbow decals on the side, while the latter were offered with pinstripes outlining the fenders, doors, and bed panels. The problem is that the color scheme is their prime asset, and you can guess how non-repainted models look after almost 40 years of rusting. Another problem is no one makes these decals and stripes anymore, so that leaves their owners with a dilemma. Should they repaint it and lose the original color and soul of the car, or should they let it rust away to its prime elements? That's a question we'll let you answer. But for now, let's move on to truck number 13. We've got the Chevrolet C10 Big, setting you back 89900 bucks years 1975 to 1980. The Chevy Big Ten and GMC Heavy Half were GM's answers to the hated catalytic converter. These were basically regular half-ton trucks, but they were marketed as heavy-duty pickups in order to bypass the emissions regulations. If you remember, all vehicles weighing 6,000 pounds or less were forced to comply with the strict emission standards, but Big Ten weighed 6,200 pounds, so it was exempt. Midway through the 1975 model year, GM also offered one weighing 6,050 pounds, which later replaced the regular C10 with a 6,000 pound gross vehicle weight. The 350 CI V8 was the minimum requirement for it, while the 454 CI V8 became the most popular choice. Here's a fun fact. Back in 75, a 454 CI Chevy C10 Big 10 could have almost outrun a Corvette. It ran from 0 to 60 in 8.9 seconds, while the 350CI fitted VET did the same in 8.1 seconds. Any guesses on what truck we have in store next? Yeah, it's the GMC Sierra Grande Olympic Edition, starting at 7500 bucks, year 1976. This special edition pickup truck was marketed exclusively in Canada. It was commissioned in order to commemorate the Summer Olympic Games held in Montreal that year. Did you know that only 630 of the GMC Sierra had been built, and all were based upon the Sierra Grand trim level? They were painted white with a red hood, frontal fascia, and upper stripe encircling the vehicle. Furthermore, logos of the 1976 games could have been found on both the rear bedside, inside the stripe, and on a special hood ornament. They were powered by a 165 horsepower 350 CI V8 and came with extras such as chrome mirrors, bumper and grille, rally wheels, and wheel opening moldings. 
If you thought that one was great, then wait till we present to you the next pickup truck, which is the GMC Sierra Indy 500, year 1977. GMC got to be the official car of the Indy for 1977, so they naturally used that honor to create the Indy 500 pace truck edition of their Sierra pickup truck. What was different about this truck? Well, gone were the outlandish stickers and in their place was a white to gray to black gradient stripe that ran the entire length of the black painted truck. A much smaller decal denoted the pickup's Indy 500 Providence, and it had moved from the flank to the front fenders. More interestingly, however, was the availability of the Indy 500 package on more than just fleet side body styles. GMC offered step side and fleet side versions of the vehicle, and it even added small flared fenders and aggressive street tires to go with it. It's the first real hot rod pickup to emerge from the Indy 500 program, and it fits in well with the street coupe style models that would arrive in 1978. Both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive models were available, and so were both the wide side and fender side models. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the GMC Sierra Indy had a six and a half foot bed, which was available with both wide side and fender side, while an eight foot bed was exclusive with the wide side body? They had a black and white paint scheme complemented by red pinstripes, and likely only V8 engines. Now that's what we're talking about. We've reached halfway through the video. Enjoying it so far? Make sure you smash the like button and hit subscribe if you do. Up next is the Dodge Shelby Dakota, producing only 1,475 units, all at 16,000 bucks. In the late 1980s, Dodge and Carroll Shelby partnered to reignite the muscle truck craze with the Dodge Shelby Dakota. The new V8-powered Shelby Dakota is Shelby's first ever production pickup truck, and it displays all the familiar elements that made Shelby automobiles the best all-around performance values year after year. It also represents another significant departure because it was Shelby's first new application of a V8 engine after a long and successful program with four-cylinder Chryslers. These impressive pickup trucks are identifiable by the Shelby graphics on the upper windshield, sides, and tailgate, not to mention the blacked-out grille bumpers and fender flares. Shelby built 1,475 examples of the Dodge Shelby Dakota, each boasting a 175-horsepower fuel-injected 5.2-liter V8 paired with a four-speed automatic. Shelby also installed an electric fan, limited-slip rear-axle gas pressure front rear shocks, and a front stabilizer bar. The Shelby Dakota carries high-level credentials as one of America's first muscle trucks, and the $16,000 price tag assures it a strong position in the performance market. Moving on to number 9, we have the Chevrolet Silverado Intimidator SS. With only 1,333 units produced, starting at $17,333, Chevrolet launched the first and only Silverado SS in 2003, based on the GMT 800 generation of the Silverado 1500. In 2006, Chevrolet delivered a special edition Intimidator SS, licensed by Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, in honor of the late Dale Earnhardt. The Intimidator SS features minor appearance upgrades such as black onyx exterior, Intimidator branding, rear spoiler, embroidered headrests, and cloth or leather interior options. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Chevrolet only made 1,333 Silverado Intimidator SS pickup trucks, each boasting a Vortex 6000 V8 engine capable of 345 horsepower and 380 pound-foot of torque? There's a reason we call this one rare. On number 8 is the Jeep J10 Honcho, with 1,264 units produced, all at 30100 bucks. When Jeep dropped the Gladiator name for the J-Series, notable upgrades included a new front axle, front disc brakes, six stud wheels, and heavier frame cross members. The J10 iteration comprised the Honcho, 10-4, and Golden Eagle trim packages. The Honcho is the rarest, with 1,264 units produced between 1976 and 1983. The Jeep J10 Honcho includes wide 8 by 15 inch spoke wheels and off-road tires, a sports steering wheel, Levi's denim interior, and a unique gold stripe on the bedside, fenders, and tailgate. A fun fact about the Jeep J10 Honcho is that it was nicknamed the Rhino due to its rugged appearance and robust performance. This truck was known for its durability and off-road capabilities, making it a favorite among adventure seekers and outdoor enthusiasts. Let's hop on to number 7 with the Chevrolet S10 EV at 1,100 units via General Motors. GM became the first automotive company to produce a fully electric pickup truck with the Chevrolet S10 EV, unveiled in 1997. It was one of the first modern electric pickup trucks to be mass-produced. 
Based on the two-door short-bed Chevrolet S10 work truck, the S10 EV boasts an upgraded version of the GM EV1 powertrain, comprising a 114-horsepower AC induction motor and a 16.2-kilowatt lead-acid battery. Before production ceased in 1998, GM introduced a larger 39-kilowatt nickel-metal hydride battery to double the S10 EV's range. Since it was not as popular among fleet buyers, Chevrolet built about 1,100 examples of this iconic pickup truck. For number 6, we have the Dodge Ram 1500 GTX Hemi at 866 units and costing 30,000 bucks. As far as muscle pickups go, the Dodge Ram 1500 equipped with the Hemi GTX package is undoubtedly one of the most memorable. LA West of Indiana customized slightly over 866 examples of these special edition sport trucks between 2004 and 2005 as ordered from dealers. Offered with both regular and quad cab short box trucks in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive configuration, the package included Hemi Orange, Sublime Green, Plum Crazy Purple, and Banana Yellow paint options. In addition to the 345 horsepower 5.7 liter Hemi V8, the limited edition Ram 1500 GTX Hemi features 20 inch American Racing Moto chrome wheels, hockey stick stripes on the side, and a blacked out cow hood. This truck was not only known for its brute power, but also for its sleek design and luxurious interior, making it a standout choice for those seeking both performance and comfort in a pickup truck. Any guesses on which pickup truck made it to our top five? Well, let's find out with this next pick. The Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser, produced at 300 units and costing 69,900 bucks. When the Bigfoot monster truck was big news in the 1980s, it was only prudent for Ford to ride the wave for as far as it would go. The Ford and Bob Chandler partnership resulted in the Bigfoot Cruiser package, equipped in approximately 300 F-250s built from 1987 to 1990. The package featured Bigfoot graphics, a worn enforcer front bumper, a 3-inch lift, heavy-duty aftermarket shocks, 33-inch tires, and a double-hoop roll bar with off-road lighting. However, original Ford F-250 Bigfoot cruisers are hard to come by since safety recalls precipitated dealer repairs to remove most aftermarket parts. Before moving on to the next beauty, why not take a minute to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Moving on to number 4, we have the Dodge Midnight Express truck, produced at 200 units ranging from $22,000 to $30,000. In the 1970s, Dodge commissioned the Adult Toys from Dodge series of DW-based lifestyle pickup trucks, marketed to gearheads that wanted specialty trucks for personal use. The dealer-converted Midnight Express boasts a black paint scheme, a Midnight Express truck decal slapped on the door, gold pinstripes, and twin exhaust stacks. Unlike the Little Red Express with the potent 360 engines, the Midnight truck has the 440 engine iteration capable of 245 horsepower. Interestingly, the collectible Dodge Midnight Express truck was available only for the 1978 model year, with about 200 units on record. And now before we wind up the list and enter the top three of the rarest pickup trucks, show some love to the video by smashing a thumbs up. And number three on the list is the Dodge Rod Hall Signature Edition, produced at 33 units and costing 8,500 bucks. In 1969, Hall conquered the Baja 1000 by finishing second in a Bill Strop Ford Bronco and gathered 25 class wins in the next 50 years. The rising popularity of Baja-inspired racing trucks in the late 1980s and early 90s inspired Dodge to create a custom Ram truck in cooperation with Rod Hall. The result was a 1987 Dodge Ram with fully custom suspension and underpinnings. However, fate had other plans. After a disappointing production halt by the NHTSA in 1987, there was another limited run of the Dodge Rod Hall Signature Edition in 1990. Professional off-road racer Rod Hall collaborated with Carroll Shelby to build a batch of Baja-inspired 4x4 pickup trucks equipped with quintessential Baja racing paint schemes. The Rod Hall Signature Edition package boasts unique high-performance parts such as Rancho shocks and springs, power steering, power brakes, and a light bar. All 33 Dodge Rod Hall Signature Edition examples feature a 5.2-liter V8 coupled with an A727 Torque Flight 3-speed automatic transmission to produce a measly 170 horsepower. The team produced 33 Dodge Rod Hall Signature Edition trucks before Carroll Shelby's untimely heart attack in 1990. Because of this, the 1987 and 1990 Rod Hall Signature Editions are considered the rarest and most unique Dodge trucks ever made. 
Finding one in mint condition is like winning the lottery, and you'll probably need to actually win the lottery to add one to your garage. On number two is the one and only Ford Sky Ranger convertible, produced at 17 units, costing 15,000 bucks. In 1991, Ford outsourced a third-party manufacturing company to transform the Ford Ranger pickup truck into an extended cab convertible with aero kits and amazing Sky Ranger graphics. The forward slanting manual soft top folds down behind the front seats, allowing a tonneau cover to exceed a sleek look. It was a concept truck introduced in the late 1980s, showcasing Ford's innovative approach to design and engineering. The custom-built Ford Sky Ranger convertible features a 4-liter V6 paired with a 5-speed manual transmission and all-wheel drive to deliver 155 horsepower. The idea of a convertible pickup truck never entirely picked up audiences, which explains why only 17 examples of this peculiar Ford Sky Ranger convertible exist. Last but not least, the truck that made it to the top of the list is none other than the GMC Railroad Crew Cab, produced at 6 units, costing 6,000 bucks. Unknown to some, GMC Crew Cabs in 1962 were not built at GM factories. Third-party coach builders instead made the conversions. These GMC crew cabs were purpose-built for the railroad industry, further modified with rear flange steel and retracting front seat wheels for driving on tracks. There is only one specialty order Fender side 1962 crew cab pickup truck in the US, with three of the other six positively identified in Canada. Considering these railroad pickup trucks existed within industrial settings, it's unsurprising that the 1962 GMC crew cab is the rarest pickup truck on record. From limited production runs to one-of-a-kind custom builds, each truck on this list embodies the spirit of ingenuity, craftsmanship, and innovation that defines the American automotive landscape. That was all for today. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and hit subscribe to become part of the club. Remember to ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our videos.